Okay. So conceptually, there are four types of guards, three basic types and one hybrid. There are hook-based, frame-based, and clamp-based guards, and then you've got hook and frame hybrids like Delahivo and spider hook kind of thing. This, the 50-50, is a clamp-based guard. So we're starting here, and then when I get my foot across, he is going to clamp my leg. The way that you deal with clamp-based guards is by using a frame or like a pry bar kind of scenario. So I need to pry at sort of the connection of the clamp. So if all I do right now, to keep this close, nice truck, is just scrawl my hip, that's not really enough because I'm moving my hip forward, but there's nothing prying in this direction. So when you scrawl, you start to move your hip, but you also want to extend your leg back. That's what's prying the grip open, the clamp mm -hmm. open in this case. So this would be the same concept in evidence in like a closed guard situation. Is if I want to create a, a, an opening in the closed guard, my personal favorite one is to go both arms under. Don't keep the close, like as tight as you like, keep the close. Both arms go under, and now I back my hips out. That's my personal favorite uh, closed guard. That. Yeah, it's a, it's a. I don't, I don't think I came up with it or anything. I've been doing it for a few years, but uh, I've used it in competition against my bigger guys like. Guys that are like the 20, 30, 40 pounds heavier than me. And against guys like that, I just find it way too difficult to do any of like this kind of stuff. Yeah. Because they'll just yard you back down. Mm -hmm. But I can always, you know, part way through this, I can always get both hands in and bring my chin in from here on in and it's just going to lay too much immediacy inside the, uh, the guard. And then as I back up, now I'm able to open the guard right away. So it's the same thing. You're just creating a wedge by driving backwards against the clamp. So if you're having trouble breaking that final climb, like, allow your partner to squeeze as tight as they like. If all you can do is this, you're not actually, well one, you're not doing the movement correctly, but two, that's not even the most correct way to sprawl. Because like, if, if, let's say you're upon a single on me, and if all I'm doing is just turning my hip, just keep driving through. Right? Like He's going to be able to keep driving back. I want to be turning my hip and yeah. driving my leg back to break the clamp that he's got on my leg. So all we're doing is, Rotating our hip, yeah, but we're also extending our leg back to break the break. Alright? Let's see if we have a chance to break the break.